What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Sudden Deep. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little bit and play the game. So, now then, we've got a bunch of supplies that we brought back with us over here. Not like a bunch, but it's enough to be useful to us. This island, unfortunately, did not have a whole lot of wrecks on it. I came out here in the hope that we would find a couple of wrecks. Actually, there's another one back there. There's another one back there. Oh, more rocks. Yes, please. Thank you. This rock is actually hiding underneath the shade of some fronds because that makes him feel better. Why he likes being underneath fronds, I don't know. But fronds is the bottom and the rock, well, he's the bottom. The rock's the bottom and fronds is the top, I guess. Let's go ahead and go over here. Well, I don't know if I want to drop my flake tools because I lose them whenever I do that. But we do need to, let's bring the raft over here. And I didn't realize that there was more wrecks over here. I probably should pay attention better. Oh, good, we're flying our raft now. I'm sure there's no way that this is going to backfire on us at all. Alright, raft. Just come on now. Cooperate. Okay, let's fly the raft for a little bit then. Who cares? I guess we'll fly the raft for right now. Is there anything on that boat? It, I feel like there should be something on this boat right here. And if you just, if you don't move at all, it'll actually allow you to like bring the raft back down to the, if you're trying to fly it anyways. I don't know if you're interested in flying items in this game, but that's how you do it. It entertains me, like seriously, I fly a lot of stuff in this game and it's entertaining every single time. I don't see any toolboxes in here. This also doesn't have the hole in the bottom of the boat, so this boat model right here, occasionally it'll have a hole right there, and if you go down in the hole, you can't get back out, so don't do that. It'll, it's a great way to lose a character. It's a great way to lose a character, and that shark is all whipped into a frenzy already. I thought I saw bubbles back here somewhere. Hmm. Let me see for a second. I don't think sharks will bother us through our raft for right now, but I'm almost positive I saw bubbles over here somewhere. I see bubbles over there, so we might go check those out. Let me see, just kind of like pan and scan around for a second until I see it. Maybe that was the one that we saw over there. I don't think it was. I thought I saw some bubbles off this way. There it is right there. That's the one that I'm looking for. Sorry, this horizon is like the same color as the bubbles that I'm trying to extract into my vision range. I'm still not completely sure if it's like faster to just like... Oh, it won't let me do it now. Okay, so you gotta start from on land. Anyways, let's paddle our ass over here. And once we've done that, we'll jump down to the bottom. It actually looks like there's a couple of wrecks we might be able to dive into, and that's gonna be the point of this episode. Basically, just wreck diving, because honestly, we've done all the construction that there is in the game. I think the only two things that we haven't crafted are the stairs, and then we also have not crafted... We haven't crafted the stairs, and we haven't crafted the bed yet, but both of those, neither of those are very useful to us. The bed is good if you're trying to get sickness to go away, and the stairs are good if you wanted to have a... Wait, is my bleeding gone? No, my bleeding's still there. I thought that maybe it was, like, slightly gone. But nope, still here. Still here. Additionally, there are sharks in the area, so... This might not go so positively. However, we do have our raft nearby, so we should be able to scramble for it. Worst case scenario. We also got our hatchet of shark slaying. So, worst case scenarios here are that we basically just duke it out real fast. And everybody knows that's my favorite part of the day. Let's see here. We got a cabinet. What's in the cabinet? Some beans. Okay. Oh, man. I didn't want to open the beans underwater. That seems like a huge waste. Got a fuel tank. Okay. I will take you. There's a locker with another machete. I will take you. And there's something on the top shelf, too. Don't think that I didn't see it. I saw it. I saw it. We just need to come back up and get some air. It's not playing shark music. The sharks don't really, like, dive below the water, either, as far as I know. At least it's rare. Oh, another flare. Okay, so... I don't really, like, need that, but I suppose it'll be slightly useful. Did I miss anything up in here? I just want to make sure that I'm not leaving anything behind. Nope, nothing behind. Let's go ahead and go back up to the surface. Keep an eye out for shark units, okay? So we have no underwater tooth-assembled shark units running after us right now. I think this door opens on this model, too. So, yeah, it does, and there's a hard case in here. The hard case has another flashlight, not really what we need right now. This one has a lantern, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, and a bunch of flashlights. Apparently, they were just, like, shipping flashlights across the ocean. That's what they were going for over here. Let's go back and get our air. We'll dive back down one more time. I just don't want to get sick on top of being bloody. Like, essentially, those are the two things that I don't want to compound right now because that might lend, like, it might lead to us ending our wonderful adventures in the tropics way too soon. That would suck. That would be the lamest. Can any of these open? I know that there's, like, other stuff around, but I've never, like, swam up and taken a look on all the beds and seen if there's anything that I missed. No, it looks like you're okay right now. I don't think there's anything else. Sometimes there's a toolkit on the back of the boat, though, so we should probably go check on that as well. 
But for right now, let's go take all this stuff to shore because we got a full inventory. And after we dump it off, where is beans with a Z? That's how you know it was from the 90s. In the 90s, everything was extreme and everything had like a Z on the end of it. It was a good time for the orc boys. It was a real good time for the boys. Everybody had Zs on the end of everything. Everything was extreme. Everybody was wearing like tech vests. Everybody had like fanny pouches. Everybody loves fanny pouches. Who doesn't like a fanny bag? Fanny bags are the best. Although I understand that that might not be so... It might not be so conducive to like foreign slang at all. At least foreign slang from my perspective. For others of you, that will be local slang. But for me, it's foreign slang. So there you go. Paddling back to the house. Well, we don't have a house here. But anyways, we're trying to dump off our loot so we can come back for it later. Alright, that's that's good enough. I can walk from here. Thank you, Raft. Your service is appreciated, but no longer required until a shark shows up. And then I will panic. In a total and complete panic, I will climb on top of you and cling to you as though life is shortly about to end. And it probably is, to be honest. Alright, so the flare we definitely don't need. I use the shark. The shark's dead corpse is my wayfinder right now. I think we came back in right between these two rocks to there. I don't know. I watched the footage once or twice, and it looks like we came back through there. I just don't want to be lost again. That's all that I care about. We got a machete to replace the one that we lost, which is good. We got a flare. Got a bunch of flashlights. Like, why we would need this many flashlights, I don't know. We got a fuel tank, which is part one, I think. Yeah, part two of four. So there's a fuel tank. There's a engine. There's like a rotor, and there's something else. And if you put them together, you can make an engine, which makes your boat go a little bit faster. We need... Oh, my God. We are just bleeding out right now. All right, eat the beans real fast, even though they're soggy and covered with salt water. I think it'll make us feel better, at least for a little while. The wonderful comfort of beans. Never underestimate beans. Don't fall off these trees, by the way. If you fall off a tree, you'll break your arm, and then it does like this weird bendy routine. It's it's actually pretty brutal when you look at it. His arm bends into like a Y. I actually can't tell if our character's male or female. Our character might be female. The cough sounds kind of effeminate, but then again, it's hard to tell because some of the other noises the character makes are definitely like male noises, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and drop these over here. We don't have our flake tools anymore, so hey, let's break down our valuable axe by smacking things with it. Oh good, and it's almost nighttime again, which means that I get to take my cue and sit here in darkness for a little while and wait to bring the episode back up because we can't explore any further while it's dark. I guess we could if we had, like, chem lights or something. I don't know if the flare will work underwater. I know some flares work underwater, and some definitely don't. What do we have right now? How's our health? Oh, we're looking good right now. Okay, so let's get back out, y'all. Yeah? And now that we're back out, y'all, yeah, I think we're looking for... Where did our raft go? Raft! There it is. The draw distance on things in this game is way too short, and I wish it was a little bit further. They may have done that to increase performance on lower spec computers, but my computer is not that computer, and so I would like to have everything high spec so that I can see a long ways of ways. Let's see here. As we try and skawenge further, I think the sun might be blocking my view of da bubbles. Sun, why are you blocking my view of the bubbles right now? That's not cool, man. Every now and again, you just need some bubbles. I keep bubbles at my house, like one of those little bubble blower thingies, because you never know when little kids are going to show up. And little kids love bubbles, man. I never met a little kid that was just like, you know what? I am unentertained by these bubbles. You have broke out bubbles, and it has caused me to hate you with an intense, childlike hatred. That has never happened. Bubbles are always successful at parlaying any type of happiness out of a child. Where in the hell are these bubbles? They've got to be like in this... Oh my god, the bubbles have vanished. Bubbles! Bubbles, where have you gone? Damn it. Oh, it's getting dark out too. Man! I lost the bubbles. It got dark out. This is just not a good day for me right now. There they are. It's got to be the dusk that's causing... Oh, this is a terrible plan. Alright, down to the bottom of the ocean we go so that we can be blind to get... Yeah, that's not going to work. I'll come back once daybreak gets here. I know nobody wants to see me sit around in the darkness. So after I decided to make the cut, essentially I happened upon a thought. And that thought being happened upon was, hey, didn't we just find like 500 flashlights? Maybe we can dive with those. And so maybe we'll give that a shot right now and just sort of see how that plays out. I don't know how it will. It may not play out at all. It may just be all business and no fun. However... If it works, it might be kind of cool. So anyways, the water doesn't, well, it doesn't look like it's helping that much. Apparently, like, solid surfaces are the best way to do this, but we'll give it a go for right now. You can, however, use the flashlight to do whatever it is you're going to do, and so this might actually make us a little bit more productive in the evening. So basically what I'm going to do for right now is we're just going to dive around the front end of the wreck. I will say that this is incredibly nerve-wracking, being that I can't see worth anything right now. Does that door open? That door does not. Okay. 
and so seeing that the door does not open, he returned to the surface with Nary to show for his efforts. All right, there we go. All right, back down we go now that we got our oxygen in. It looks like there's a top hatch right here. Oh, that just goes into the same place that... Meh. I was hoping that I had happened upon some kind of like... I wanted to make sure. Maybe I had seen a secret or something. I don't know. Secrets are cool. Who doesn't like secrets? Everybody loves secrets. Sometimes your flashlight doesn't turn like to turn back on underwater. I thought I'd bring that up for a second just in case you were unaware. Sometimes the flashlight does this horrifying thing where it's just like... <laughs> How would you like to swim in the pitch black for a second? And you're like, I would not like that at all, flashlight. That sounds really, really awful in a lot of different ways. Why would you ever do that sort of thing, flashlight? And the flashlight's like, I don't know, it just seemed like kind of a funny thing to do. And then it sneaks out of the room with a wicked look on its face. And we aren't talking about, like, no one scorns the wicked wicked. We're talking about, like, there is a no Edina Menzel. There's no Edina Menzel involved in all of this. So let's just leave her out of it for right now. And no, there will not be any frozen singings. I'm done. I, oh, there's the toolbox right there that I was talking about. Sometimes there's a toolbox... Hey, flashlight, I don't know if you want to turn on right now so we can see what's in there. Oh, a hammer, I didn't even need to build one. Well, ain't that a bitch. That's upsetting. That's upsetting in a couple of different ways. I mean, we don't need, like, another awesome hammer. We already have the good hammer, but just in case we have to drop the hammer and break it, we can have another one, I guess. It never hurts to be stuck. My God, I cannot see at all right now. What is going on? I thought I was on my raft. That's how disoriented I was by darkness. I thought I was on a raft. Now, the durability on this thing should be going down kind of slowly. How does the lantern work? Oh, you just like hold it and it just like does its thing and it has no durability either? Oh, that's awesome. We can actually, we can put this in our house so that we can remain productive throughout the evenings. I can actually keep building on camera and all of that kind of fun stuff. Yay, I love it when I have utilities. Utilities, utilities, utilities. Oh, shit, we need to go eat because we're going to bleed to death if we don't. Eh, do I want to wait it out? Yeah, we got time. Let's go eat real fast. We're going to try and get the other two wrecks in the remainder of this episode. We got more than enough time left. We got about 13 minutes remaining in the episode, I think. So if we run back, we'll eat some coconuts real quick. I actually, I keep beaching my raft right here on the side of this. But we'll go down, we'll get the other hammer because I figure it's not a bad idea to have extra parts at various locations. I don't know, maybe we set up like a separate base on different islands just in case we get caught around. I don't know, just start building in different locations so that we know have we don't have to really worry about our orientation anymore. We can just end up on a fully stocked island no matter where we go. That'd be pretty sweet. Speaking of which, don't blind dive. It's a terrible, terrible idea. When it's dark out, you should not go underwater. Like, even experienced scuba divers get killed. Like, that's actually how my dad lost one of his friends back in the late 90s. I told this story in a stream, I think, but my dad had a friend who was a scuba instructor. That's what he did for a living. He had, like thousands and thousands of hours on dives like he was basically as close to a professional scuba diver as you could find he was like a cameraman for nature shows and stuff like that and he went down blind diving in Lake Berryessa and he was working on something and he got tangled up down at the bottom and just died that's it he drowned he like just drowned that's it and so even for experienced people blind diving is a really really terrible idea even if you're super experienced don't get cocky kid no just like stay just just be careful about it it's it's not a good idea. It's not actually as bright as I thought it would be, but it is at least a little comforting. Oh, that's because it... Does it turn off? What? No, it still magically emits light, even though it appears to be turned off. That's okay. It's like, well, I'm not... I'm only turned off, given the stimuli that's in front of me. I'm like, whoa, sick burn there, lantern, sick burn. Thanks for that. My my feelers. All of my feelers are damaged. Give me that Give me that machete right there. Yeah. Machete. Machetes are like the most horrifying weapon ever. I mean, I know they're a tool first, but you know. Imagine somebody, like, whipping out a machete in the middle of, like, fisticuffs. You'd be like, oh, this is not okay. I don't know why a machete... Like, a machete is scary to me. A machete is like a weapon that I'm just like, yeah, I think I'm just going to run away at this point. I'm thinking discretion is... Yeah, unless I have a gun, like, discretion is the better part of valor here. Alright, did that get us? No, we need another one. We needs another one. Come over here, green coconut. I needs ya. I needs ya in my mouth and in my tummy bits. Hey. There we go. I didn't tell you to do that. Not the blank inventory space. If you rewind, you will in fact see that I did tell it to do that because I misclicked. Anyway, there it goes. Awesome. And so with our scimitar of island survival, we will continue now. I mean, it's like, what, day 12 at this point? It's got to be pretty far down the chain at this point. Like, are we kind of full up on health? Oh, man, we're still... 
I'm going through coconuts on this island way too fast. This is becoming almost embarrassing, my coconut addiction. And frankly, we're going to need to make a long drop or an outhouse or something if we keep this up. I actually don't even need the drinkable coconut this time. Although it is important to note that we only have two coconuts left. What we, what, we Where we will put that note, upon what stationery, I'm not sure. We don't really have any of the stationery required to write anything down. I guess I could, like, inscribe it on a tree like Daniel Boone shot a bar here in 1814. That was actually, like, a thing. They found that on a tree. Was it actually? Let me think about that. Did that actually happen? I think they found that. Hmm, I'd have to look it up and see if that's a real thing or if that's a folk tale. It could be one or the other. It might be a folksy tale. I'm not sure. I'll have to verify it. I used to be really into Daniel Boone when I was a kid. Like, really, really, really into Daniel Boone. I had a friend that said that he was related. When I was a kid, he said this all the time. He's like, my family's related to Davy Crockett. And I never had the heart to tell him that Davy Crockett's like a figment of your imagination. It's not like a real, he's not a real guy. He's like a guy that's based on other things. Like, you know that, right? I feel like you don't know that right now. These bubbles are the most troublesome bubbles ever. Those trouble bubbles on the double. I'm sure at this point in our adventure, we've grown an amazing face full of stubble. But that was really the only thing that I could rhyme with trouble and double and stubble and bubble and everything else at the moment. These bubbles, I think they're actually like bugged where they aren't showing up until I get closer. But maybe they're like on my screen right now and I just don't see them. I don't know. Either way, though, I don't think there's anything... Was there anything else in there? I don't think that there was, actually. I think that we might have a better time if we go over here. There was some more bubbles off on this side, and I think I'd like to investigate those. So, initiate 45 minutes of paddling. I wish that our boat was a little bit faster. I mean, I'm not trying to make fun of our character's upper body strength or anything like that. It's got to be the draw distance. That's what it's got to be. The draw distance in this game just, like, kills you if you're trying to find anything. There's got to be a boat around here. I saw bubbles. I know I saw bubbles off in this direction. So I'm going to try and do my best to, like, mark our location just mentally. But I think I saw bubbles out here somewhere. It'd be almost faster to swim if it weren't for the sharks and my bloody arm. Damn you sharks and your ridiculous ability to find one part water, like, one part blood and a million parts water. I almost said one part water and a million parts blood. I'd be like, no, that is the exact opposite of what sharks. They'd be like, hey, anybody smell some water right now? <laughs> In the ocean. <laughs> oh, God. There has got- I saw bubbles over here somewhere. I know I did. Like, for a fact, I saw bubbles off this way. Hmm. Bubbles, why do you deny me? It looks like there's a wreck right there, but I don't know if it counts as, like, a real wreck. I don't see anything inside of it. I don't know. It's, like, worth looking at, but I can't promise we would actually, like, find anything in there. There's got to be some bubbles out here. I saw bubbles off the left-hand side of the island when we were coming in. I saw them over here somewhere. They've got to be in the vicinity. Either way, if we can't find it, what I'll do is I'll load up on supplies. We'll take them back to our original island. I'll paddle out to a new island, and we'll hopefully find ourselves a new wreck to dive into because I don't want to, like, have an episode where nothing takes place here. There were bubbles out here, I swear. I know there were bubbles out here. I saw them. It frustrates me that the bubbles, like, spontaneously vanish, and then, like, I'm stuck here like an idiot with a paddle in my hand. I guess I could be stuck with other things in my hand, and it wouldn't be too bad, but... Stuck here just, like, looking around. I guess there's, there's gotta be bubbles out here. I saw them. Even if it's surround- There they are right there. That's why I didn't see them. However, these bubbles, these particular bubbles, are surrounded by sharks, and so that's a little bit troublesome. I think they're great white sharks, too, looking at the dorsal fin. Yeah. They are great white sharks. I'm not feeling confident about our raft's ability to suffer a strike from a great white shark. I think if we just hang out, they should just bypass us. Now, they do have rudimentary behavior to investigate things that they find curious. So they will nudge our boat, which would be terrifying. But can you imagine just standing on like a pile of sticks in the middle of water while sharks went by you like that? That would be the worst feeling. And these are big sharks. Like, these are fairly large. I mean, they're not as big as great white sharks get, because I think great white sharks get up to, like, 30, 32 feet. They can get pretty damn big. But these are, like, little great white sharks. These aren't even, like, the boat swallower ones that are just like, we need a bigger boat. Nope, it's not that moment right now. I'm a little bit worried about diving while they're here. Unfortunately, I feel like I've got a phone call coming in right now from Arizona. What? Somebody's calling. I don't even live in Arizona. I have family in Arizona. That's a little weird. Hmm. I don't know if I should answer that or not. I doubt it, though. It's an 888 number. I think somebody's pulling shenanigans. Are you coming at me right now? Is that how it's going to be, Great White Shark? He's going to bump us. 
Yeah, there it is right there. They bump you every now and again. Real sharks do that too. They do it with their nose. They'll bump objects that they find curious. Ooh, we're traveling via... We're being propelled via shark. This seems like a really, really bad idea. Since I'm bleeding. This seems like the worst idea ever. But I kind of have to do it because that's the point of the episode. Maybe the sharks will be bad at like... Eh, they're still here. There's one right there. He's trying to be sneaky. He's camouflaging right now. And the bubbles are right here, huh? Oh, yeah, there's the wreck right there. Okay. It looks like they're going away from me. They should disperse, I think. And so I don't want to go in the water while I'm bleeding. We're just going to wait it out till they're a little bit further away. All right, that looks okay. I'm all right with this right now. Be careful about these rooms, too. Sometimes you get stuck in the bottoms of these. Not like every time, but like sometimes it happens, and there's no like worse way. There's an amphora in here. Why is a ship carrying amphora at the bottom of the ocean? This is clearly like a metal vessel, from what I can tell. There's nothing in the console. There's nothing in the back of the ship. We're leaving blood everywhere. Let's go back up for oxygen real quick. Get on the raft. Get on the raft. Get on the raft. I don't hear the shark music, but still... There's one right over there, and just because he hasn't, like, sensed our viscera down in the water doesn't mean he won't figure it out shortly. Like, my sharky powers are activating to realize that there is a bleeding prey in the water. Mmm, delicious bleeding prey. Get inside my mouth, but stay away from my new shirt. If you bleed on my new shirt, I'm going to eat you painfully if you bleed on my new shirt. Oh, this is a wooden... See, there's clearly an amphora in the bottom of this boat, but it's like a modern, like, 1910, 1915 boat. I mean, it's not super modern. Oh, shit, they can dive underwater. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I think he's actually trying to eat us right now. And so I'm going to get back on the boat. Whew. Because I fear for my tootsies. Luckily, there's nothing on that boat, I don't think. I don't see anything. I'd love to give it another passing glance. Just to make sure. Sans shark, but yeah. It doesn't look like there's any toolkits or anything else that's going to be useful down in here. I don't know if they can be like on the bottom with the sand or whatever, but I don't think I've ever actually found anything in this boat model. There's some barrels and things in the back over here, but yeah. That's about it. I don't see any I don't see any objects holding objects. So yeah, in that case I think it's time for us to bounce on out. I'm gonna go back to the island because I think this is basically like the end of this usefulness on this island, or the end of the usefulness on this island. We've actually made a good two episodes out of just like diving wrecks on this island, and we've got a fog bank and some rain rolling in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold tight. When we come back on the next episode, we'll probably be back on... I don't know. I can either go to another island from here and we can keep like wreck diving and just seeing what we can find, or I can transfer all the items back and forth in between the locations so that at least all of our stuff is back at our base, and then when we come back, everything's been organized and put on the proper shelf. We can actually have some more episodes where we explore and have some more fun. So anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stranded Deep. I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Take care of everybody and hi-do.